Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam Thompson here at RV Sales of Oregon. Guys, I'm fired up. I got a great Class A to show you today. It is a 2024 Ace 33.1. Now there's one thing specifically that I feel like is unique with this coach to start off with. At 33 feet, um, it's a coach that you don't usually see a lot of Class A's at that length. You know, typically from what I've seen, you'll, you'll see 35 to 40 and, and then big 40 and over, especially in the diesel pushers. Well, this is a gas coach. It's got your tried and true Ford V10 engine, uh, but this is a coach that I'm fired up to have on the lot here. Um, as a 2020, it's a coach that really brings a lot of the comforts of a new coach. It's only got 12,000 miles on it, um, and so it's a coach that really brings a lot of the, the, the comfort and the features that you'll find in a brand new coach. Um, let's do a quick walk around on the outside, and then folks, I want to get inside and show you the inside of this coach. Come on and follow me. So you have storage bays on the side here. I'm not going to get in real detail there. What I want to show you is this right here. So uh, you got an outdoor TV right here, and you've got a sound bar below it. And the sound bar does have Bluetooth, so you can connect your, uh, your phone and jam some tunes if you want to. Um, but kind of what I think of when I see this, guys, is so I'm a big college football guy. And uh, I grew up in Washington State, and so it's not popular around here. But guess what, guys? I'm a Husky fan. Go dogs, baby. Uh, but a couple weeks ago, I went up to uh, Seattle with my dad. And really, for me, watching football is a father and son thing. I grew up every Saturday sitting on the couch with my, with my dad um, watching the Huskies and, and, and so that's that's my team man but a couple of weeks ago we went up to Seattle and we saw the Huskies first game of the year against Boise State and when you go to a Husky game there's a bunch of areas you can park uh, kind of along um, it, it's called the U district anyway so we park we walk up to the game and as we're walking up to the stadium there's a huge area for tailgating and what do you see uh, where the people are tailgating, well guess what you see, a whole bunch of RVs. And so what I, I see this outdoor TV, I kind of think of, well, this would be perfect for tailgating. Put a game on the TV, put the awning out, uh, you know, have a grill, uh, cook up some burgers. But I think this really provides a great experience to, to have the awning out, relax, and just have a fun time with family and friends, man. Throw a game on, uh, you know, but that's kind of what I think of when I see this outdoor TV. All right, guys, let's keep the train rolling. Follow me. So other another key feature back here. So you're all set up for uh, towing, and this is a 10,000-pound towing hitch. So, folks, you are all set to go to tow. Uh, th th this coach is ready, ready to rock and roll, ready to tow. All right, guys, follow me. Next thing I want to show you, so this is a 50 amp coach. Uh, the benefit of that, in my experience, is if you were, were to put a washer and dryer in it, this coach uh, doesn't have one right now, but it is equipped for it. And if you wanted to put one in, it is a 50 amp coach. And that's really what you need as far as putting a washer and dryer in. Can't really do it with a 30 amp. With a 50 amp, you can. Um, and then you do have a 5500 Onan generator. And this is a bit, a bit of a unique spot for your gen. You don't typically see it in the rear of the coach back here. Typically you see it up there. But I just wanted to show that on video. Um, you do have your Onan 5500 gen. All right, guys, let's keep it rolling. So you do have storage bays below the slide and on the side here. I'm not going to get in real detail with that. If you want to see that, guess what, guys? Come see me or give me a call. Uh, but you got storage bays on the side here. Just wanted to do a full walk around on the coach before we go inside. Um, so you can see uh, one other thing I want to point out. So you do have slide toppers, both slides here. This is a two slide coach. You do have slide toppers on both your slides. Something else I wanted to point out. So this is a good contrast here. So uh, you have seamless windows, seamless tinted windows on the outside of this coach. Now check out this coach uh, for comparison. You see a seam around the window here, or you don't see it on this coach. This is, so these are, they call these seamless windows. Um, and they're supposed to do a couple of things. First of all, they're more aesthetically pleasing. Second of all, they make leaking more challenging for water to get inside your coach. All right, guys, let's go check out the inside of this coach. Follow me. Come on in, guys. So before we get inside here too much, I want to turn on the battery disconnect. And boom, we've got lights. All right, so 
I really love the floor plan of this coach. Um, this is set up for Entertainment Central. You've got three TVs in this coach. So you've got one here, you've got one here, and you've got one in the bedroom. What I like is the way they set this up. So you've got your lounge recliners right here, so you could kick back and watch your TV here. Or if you want to sit in the dinette right here, you have also could sit here, have a meal, and watch this TV as well. So it's set up for Entertainment Central. Um, Another thing I want to point out, guys, so check this out. If you've got friends, family, kids, grandkids, this would be perfect for that. This is your electric drop-down bed. And I don't know exactly where the ladder is, but you'll see it in a second. There's a ladder that hooks in right here. And this is something I think that would be really perfect for, for grandkids, kids, whatever it might be. Um, but yeah, you can see all it does is all you need is a, a press of the button and, and your electric drop down bed comes right down perfect for the grandkids perfect for Friends or hey if you're with your spouse and you're taking your coach out and you guys get in a little disagreement Put your spouse in the doghouse and they have to come sleep up here And you can see it goes back up real easily you just hold this button down and boom comes goes right up And yeah, guys, what really feels good to me about this coach is the floor plan. Uh, kind of as I, as I was saying, um, this is the coach that when you, you, you buy this, you really you get the comforts and the features of a brand new coach because it's a 2020. It's newer than a lot of the stuff that we sell here. And it, it's kind of a unique coach for what we have here. I mean, kind of in my experience working here uh, for, at RV Sales of Oregon, a lot of what we sell is, is older older coaches, older diesel pushers. It's kind of what we specialize in. So this is something fresh that kind of mixes it up, so to speak. And I really believe that buying something like this, you get the comforts of buying new. Um, let me show you some other things, guys. So this is something simple, but it's something uh, that you'll be glad you have if you own it. What I noticed, lots of cup holders here. So you got three up here, one over there. You've got two here in your uh, uh, lounge recliners, two behind the couch, and then two in your dinette. So if you're a, a big drink guy, I like to drink a lot of ener energy drinks, soda, whatnot, you're, you're all set up for that. Um, so these seats do swivel around. So you hop in here and these seats do swivel around. Well, you can see I was just swiveling and then, there we go. So yeah, you can see these seats do swivel around. If you wanna sit here and kick back and have a conversation with friends or family that are with you, you can do that. If you wanna swivel back around, you can do that as well. I wanted to show you this, guys. So this is kind of a cool feature. If you're a busy business professional on the go and you wanna bring your laptop with you and, and work on something, send some emails, or, or, or work on whatever you might need to work on while you're driving, you can do that. This just pulls out. You can, I can see myself with my laptop right here, just pounding away on that keyboard. And it goes back up just like this. All right, guys, the next thing I wanna show you is really cool. It's, it's a unique thing to this coach specifically. So the uh, previous owner put in a custom sound bar. Uh, and so this sound bar did not come with the coach as it was, it was a custom soundboard that they put in and it's Bluetooth as well as aux, so you could plug your phone in and play music. And then I wanted to show you this speaker right here. This is uh, a speaker that the previous owner put in as well and it works with that soundbar. I wanna show that to you real quick if we can. just really feel it fills up the room and it does come through here as well I can just picture myself relaxing in the coach enjoying the sound system it really fills up your coach but anyway I think you get the point right that sound bar it really fills up your coach it puts off excellent sound and I love the fact that the previous owner put in that custom sound bar because it really does uh, make your sound system that much more enjoyable and it's easy and convenient. All you do is you pull your phone out, turn on your Bluetooth and connect to the sound bar. It's easy and if you're a music guy like myself, it just makes your coach that much more enjoyable. Um, anyway guys, so moving on. So that's basically the main thing with the living area and the cab area up here. One other thing I didn't mention, you do have automatic leveling up here for your leveling jacks. 
and that's going to be right up front right here. Um, and then coming on back, you do have storage galore here, so plenty of overhead storage. You can see that, so plenty of room for dry goods, whether it might be canned tuna or canned chicken, got to get your protein in, um, or uh, canned veggies, can whatever it might be, you got plenty of room for dry goods. You do have solid surface countertops here with a nice big stainless steel sink. And then you've got your three burner stove top right here, microwave and oven. And then I love what they did with the backsplash here. So they've got a backsplash with ceramic inserts. And this, this is something the previous owner did as well. So they put in uh, these extra plugins here. So if you need to plug in your coffee maker, charge your phone, whatever it might be that you need to plug in in your kitchen, you've got plugs here and you've got plugs here. So you've got a, a, a plenty of plugins, excuse me. All right, guys, come on back. So, you've also got a nice bathroom space in here. They put the skylight in the shower here, and so if you're a tall gentleman, I'm not particularly tall, but if you are, you do have the skylight here, but you have a, a spacious shower in here and plenty of room to maneuver. And then, I love the way they set up the commode. So, uh, if you're sitting here on the commode, you're not going to jam your knees up against anything. Plenty of space and room in here. Um, and then you have plenty of space for your toiletries as well in the bathroom. And now let's go on to the bedroom. Uh, before we do that, you do have your gas electric refrigerator right here, two-way fridge. And then come on to the, into the bedroom, guys. So this is a big selling point, in my opinion. You've got an RV King. That is a little bit shorter than a regular King, but it is an RV King, so it is as wide as a King bed. And that's a big selling point. It is hard to find a, an RV with a King bed. You usually see a queen. It's just not something you usually see. So that is a big selling point in my opinion. Um, it's also on an east to west bedroom slide. And so what that does is it opens up your wardrobe space here. So having your bed on a slide gives you tons of room in the closet here. And you can see the consigner still has some stuff in here. No problem. You can imagine what it would look like without that there. But you've got plenty of room to hang your clothes and put whatever you might need to in the closet right here. All right, guys, I think from what I can think of, that's basically it. You can see everything there really is to, to see here. As a, a 2020, this coach kind of speaks for itself. It's in great condition, only has 12,000 miles. Um, and like I was saying, you really get the comforts of purchasing a new coach, uh, a like new coach when you, you buy a coach like this. Um, you can see you do have plugins by the bed here that are, are, are USB, so you're ready to charge your phone there. Anyway, guys, I think it's fairly self-explanatory. Um, this is a, a coach that's it's, it's in like new condition. And um, if you're interested, if you're interested in a 33-foot uh, gas Class A coach, give me a call. I'd be happy to help answer any questions. Uh, Sam Thompson here with RV Sales of Oregon. Guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Remember two things. Go dogs, baby, and go Mariners. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.